Hi there, this is Marty from OwingsArt.com. That's O-W-I-N-G-S-A-R-T.com. And today is not so much an art materials review as some tips and tricks and a demonstration um, on drawing. So what I'm drawing here today is a, an ore freighter after the very famous uh, ship, the Edmund Fitzgerald, made famous by a Gordon Lightfoot song. Uh, in November of 1975, this ship sank in bad weather in Lake Superior. Uh, during a storm and uh, all uh, I think it was 39 crew members were lost uh, on the ship uh, when it sunk. Um, anyway, a client of mine reached out to me and said, hey, I'd like you to draw the Edmund Fitzgerald, but instead of putting the Edmund Fitzgerald as the ship name, I'm going to commemorate the anniversary uh, of, of parents, I think. So um, that's just what I, I'm going to do today. So I'm going to start with a light outline, and I should mention this is a sketchbook, toned paper sketchbook uh, that I'm using so the you can see that this is not a bright white paper and the pencil that I'm using to do the very light outline is a Faber-Castell TK9400 lead holder with an HB lead in it. So those are the that's the uh, gear I'm going to start with here. One of the things I like to mention to artists too, and especially uh, beginning artists, is don't sweat all the detail right away. Um, if your drawing looks amateurish or it looks kind of like a child's drawing from the beginning, don't worry about that so much. You can get back and clean up some of that detail and when you add color, uh, shadow and light can help enhance uh, the drawing or painting and you won't find yourself as you go along worrying about so much uh, about the minor details and do I have every angle right and is everything perfect at the end of the day um, you know art is about feeling and so you, you sort of get your direction from your intuition and your intuition about where to put things where to place things how to how things uh, look in relationship to other things on the drawing all that stuff improves over time. Now you can use some very strict science, you can use a straight edge ruler, you can you can do a lot of that work to be very precise in, in your work and, and, and artists that do that are great. I admire them. I'm not one of those artists. I tend to let my uh, you know intuition guide me on my drawings and you know at the end I'll worry about some of those details and things but at first I'm just trying to block in the large dominant shapes. So here I'm doing the same thing I did with pencil with color. So I'm just going to block in the white and I'm going to get back later and clean all that up. Same here with this uh, uh, this color on the on the hull of the of the ship. Now this is an Indian red uh, that I'm using here to block in that major color on the ship's hull and then you know like I said you can add detail as you go along. The next thing I'm going to have to do here is you know add some of those little pieces but I'm gonna have to letter the names on here so I'm gonna make sure that I do that in pencil first so you see the white part on the on the bow of the ship that's gonna ha have some lettering in there so I'm gonna use a pencil uh, to do that very carefully before I go back and ink it that's a good idea because if you make a mistake with the ink it's tough to erase <clears throat> so the little points of light uh, white that you see that I added like to the um, smokestack and other areas those are just kind of that's where light would hit those things so it's kind of cool and under here uh, more towards the aft of the ship that's shaded area under there so it's painted white but there's shade which casts a kind of a gray shadow underneath a cool a cool gray shadow you do shadows don't be afraid to use like a bluish color or a, even a purple uh, because that casts kind of a, a light. It's a cool, it's a coolness to shadow. So if you ever really observe closely shadow, you'll see that you'll pick up that coolness in it. Here I'm just going to rough in some clouds in the background just to add a little bit of, um, I guess, interest to the drawing. And uh, then I'll add a little bit more blue to the to the water because it the, the water. Um, will have a reflected light from the sky, but I don't want to overdo it either. But at the same time, I want there to be a, a, a bit of a difference. So that's what I'm doing here. And don't forget to add a little white to the uh, water because that 
you'll see waves, and if you look at waves real closely, on the, even in the Great Lakes or especially the ocean, you'll see white caps. Uh, That's what they call the, the white, you know, the top of the wave as it peaks, uh, crests, I guess you'd say. And then I'm going to work a little white into, the, into some of these clouds here, just for some interest and just a little bit of realism, I guess. Um, you know, as you get further away with clouds, they get a lot smaller, and sometimes they can blend in. Closer, you see more of a definition around the clouds. Well, as I take a step back here and look at the work today, um, you know, it started kind of as an amateurish sketch, and I, I'm not saying it's perfect by any means, but it's come a long way. I like what uh, I like where it is right now. It's a good representation of a, uh, you know a Great Lakes ore boat. And uh, the once mighty Edmund Fitzgerald, now the Bob and Trudy Han 50th anniversary ship. But um, I, I was happy to be able to do this for a client, and I, I like to be able to do these drawings. Um, and like I said, if you follow your intuition, it really helps. It takes practice, like some people say 10,000 hours to get good at something. Um, well, drawing and painting are no different. It just takes some dedicated time and Sure, I'm stating the obvious for those who are practiced at it, but for, for beginners, it's just good to devote a little time each day to practicing the craft. Well, um, if you enjoyed the video, or even if you didn't, please leave a question or comment. I always like to respond uh, and interact with people who check out my work. Um, and if you haven't done so already, please uh, subscribe to the channel. Drop a little love with a like. All right, well, have a great day, everybody. This has been Marty for OwingsArt.com. That's O-W-I-N-G-S-A-R-T.com. So long for now. Bye-bye.